Hey everybody and welcome back to another Let's Play of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Um, I've been sick still and in the meantime I have unlocked a bunch of stuff. Um, we only have a couple of things left to do uh, hush wise. Which I've kind of been excited about unlocking all the hush items because yes I've been cheating and using PlatinumGod.co.uk to uh, check out what I need. Anyway Lazarus is one that we need for hush and I believe we also need Kane. Uh, so let's go ahead and do one with Kane, and uh, we'll see if we can't get to the Hush fight or not. Um, yeah, so, whew, it's been, my holiday is almost over. I go back to work on Monday. Um, Robo Baby. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, I know there was a reroll machine in there, but, you know, what are you going to do? Self-sacrifice room is interesting if we get a lot of red heart drops. Uh, but for now, let's just go ahead and play the game as per normal. This is actually the Robo Baby that I prefer, considering that he uh, is a little bit more reliable than the other ones. Anyway, so it's been uh, it's been an interesting holiday, having been sick for most of it, which sucks. Um, but you know, it's it's sometimes you got to deal with stuff, and I am gonna be trying to continue on with my increased video making over the course of 2016. Um, there's going to be some exceptions here and there as I will have to take time off for uh, things like events, like when you know we take Brawlhalla to PAX and when we do other exciting things related to <laughs> me being super busy with work. Um, but yeah, we're going we're gonna to try to pick it back up. Um, I am going to be trying to stream Brawlhalla at least once a week, I've decided. Um, which is a realistic goal. Might go up to uh, twice a week. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a three times a week schedule the way that I was doing before I moved down to Atlanta. Justice card is really nice when you start off. Um, yeah, so in the meantime, we're just going to play through this, uh, this can run. We'll get a video up. All of you guys can ask me your Brahala questions and you know like if you haven't noticed I've been trying to be a little bit more judicious about answering comments uh, for all of you who watch the Isaac videos so I'm gonna try to keep up with that as well man why is this floor so so huge this seems like a really big layout is this XL no it's just basement interesting ah ha ha Try to be careful. I know it's the first floor. We can take damage, but, you know. Um, yeah, so I've been playing a lot of Isaac just because the one thing I do really like about Isaac is that it's really relaxing. And, oh, man, we have to go to the shop now that we have enough money to buy an item. Did we even find the shop? Yeah, we did. It's down here. Um, yeah, Isaac, uh, unlike competitive games <laughs> like Brawlhalla, Isaac is very relaxing, which is part of the reason why um, I'm really glad to be playing it. We're gonna come back here for that spirit heart after we fight the boss, just in case I take damage. And we're gonna come back for that tinted rock that I passed by, and then hopefully we'll either get the small rock, uh, which will help a great deal, or we'll, you know, carry on with the, oh my goodness. Um, or we'll just carry on with, you know, hopefully more spirit hearts. All right, let's go fight this boss. Oh, hey, there's another tinted rock right there. How awesome. All right, yeah, so the thing I figured out with Ragman is uh, to actually focus down on the head because it does do damage to the boss and I think it does damage to the spider as well if the spider makes it out. So it's kind of like a two for one kind of deal. Whoa, I've never seen that before. What the hell? What the hell, Ragman? Busting out new moves. I've fought you like a number of times. Interesting. Let's see what item we get. Health up is all right. Let's blow up this rock. I got a good feeling. All right, hey, we got a bomb back. So now we can get uh, both. Oh, and another stray bomb here. How nice. Game is just full of gifts. Full of gifts right now. Which is absolutely delightful. Uh, so let's see what else has happened. I uh, recently pre-ordered XCOM 2 because 
by God, it's XCOM 2, man. We're actually going to save our pennies for the next floor. We got plenty of spirit hearts now. Um, XCOM 2 is a game I'm really excited about. I played the crap out of XCOM 1. Um, I'm at, I've been thinking about going back to XCOM 1 just so that I can do an entire playthrough, but I've probably played like 120 hours of the game without actually finishing it, which is, you know, terrible, but that's how I play a lot of games. Who's got the time to finish games, man? Not this guy. So anyway, XCOM 2 is coming out. When that comes out, we're going to be doing a full on uh, Let's Play series of that because, by God, it's XCOM 2. It sounds and looks amazing. Um, it really seems like they learned a lot from the... Whoa, we're just rolling in the money on this run. Thank you, game. Let's donate some cash. Try to get this up to 300 this run if we can. That feels good, 290. Um, yeah, so XCOM 2 is a game I'm really excited about. That comes out in February. Um, which is just around the corner. I think it's late February is when it comes out. Uh, so we'll be looking forward to that. Juicy sack, sticky babies. Eh. It's not my favorite item in the world, but that's all right. Here we have our shop, which is good. A little bit nervous about the circular fly. There we go. Let's, he's gone. That's good. And, yep, all right. Ooh, nun's habit. That's just one of those items that you take because if you run into an eventual synergy with it, it pays for itself later. And if you don't, it's still, like, the smart thing to do. I don't know. Like, it's just it's just too good to, to pass up. There's too many ways that you can get great synergy with the nun's habit to, to pass it up. So we're going to take that, and then we're going to try and fight all of these guys. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Oh, man, that was really bad. Okay, we still have a blue heart. Everything's fine. Fighting Monstro, which is not a big deal. Sticky Babies is actually uh, doing some nice work for us. I wonder if that got upgraded in Afterbirth, because I remember it being really lackluster in Rebirth. Like, the slowdown effect is nice, but, you know, take what you can get, I guess. All right, we should have a devil room here. Uh, speedball is okay. I do like getting one speed upgrade. Dark Bum is pretty decent. Um, yeah, let's just keep going. So you guys can probably hear in my voice that I'm still feeling a little bit ill. Get him. Yeah, this is actually one of my least favorite room layouts. Uh, just because it seems like no matter what you do, you're always just going to get a load of spiders. And it just takes a long time to finish. Wow, it's getting so lucky with the money here. Let's pop our heads in. These are usually worth blowing up when there's a double explosion. Uh, Noah's pretty cool, actually. Although the paperclip that we started with is also really good. And we do kind of need spacebar items since we have the nun's habit, so we'll stick with the uh, we'll stick with the paperclip for now. Let's see what this is though. The devil. It's fairly useful. Probably use that on our boss this time around, unless we find a uh, challenge room. We'll leave the remote alone much rather have the paper clip than that. Nice and speedy trickle charge we don't need. Don't even have a spacebar item yet. But we can check the shop and potentially get ourselves a spacebar item. Okay, so there is the uh, reverse time. Uh, let's do this. We can turn back time. Which means we can play this donation machine as much as we want for the rest of the game. 
You could probably argue that the treasure map was the better pickup there, and you'd probably be right. But, uh, you know, we're just going to do things uh, the way that we have for now. I'm sure there's, like, some sort of, like, game-breaking method for using this item that I'm not aware of. Uh, just because of the fact that you can, you know, turn back time. For me, like, it seems like a undo your mistakes kind of button. Like a, oh, you know, you really screwed it up there. Why don't you, you know, go back to the last and prevent yourself from making such a terrible mistake. And potentially with Nun's Habit, we'll be able to undo all of our mistakes indefinitely. Thank you, Dark Bum. That was so nice of you. Oh, that was unfair, man. The one... Okay, so, yep. We can undo our mistakes. Because now we know how unfair that big fly is. With his uh, extra shot there. So normally you gotta stand still to fight these guys. And that's what I did, man. And then I got... I got knackered. Ah, oh, bollocks. <laughs> Let's just undo those mistakes, guys. Because that's what we're doing here. I am probably not going to get through this room ever without getting hit once. But <laughs> we can keep trying. Alright, we might- Ah, Wow, that guy. These spiders, man, and the jumping. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I still got hit there. It's alright. Don't want to keep doing that over and over again. And it might turn back time, but it doesn't turn back the clock. So we're going to get to Boss Rush and the Hush. We're going to we're gonna want to do that. Man, we are, we are just not getting good items uh, this time around. Um, we don't have enough money because we spent it all. Trickle charge we don't need. Let's just go down to the next floor. I think that seems reasonable. We really need to get another double room if our chances for this run are going to improve the damage right now and the defensibility are just not uh, what we need them to be. And yep, we'll just use that to do that. Get these guys nice and lined up. My goodness Isaac yeah it's funny the way that it is with Isaac too because it's it's unlike a lot of other games I never really get bored of this sometimes I get burnt out where I've been playing like too much Isaac and I need to stop for a while uh, which happens occasionally but for the most part it's a game that I just don't ever really go like oh you know I'm just I'm not in the mood for that like if I am playing Isaac and I'm currently doing a run through of it like I will want to continue to play it for as long as I possibly can until that inevitable time where it's like you know what I need a break I'm gonna come back in a few months it's gonna be super fun again oh I did get hit oh well Lining people up. Let's see if we're gonna get another crappy item. What the heck? Undefined. Oh, undefined. I feel like I should keep the uh, turn back time guy. That's just me, though. Hey, free entry into the shop. That's kind of cool. Too bad our money has run dry. Let's open this up. Hey, that's totally worth it. It's sad whenever you get a familiar and you're like, Oh, dude, my DPS problems are solved! <laughs> uh, face Reward is actually pretty cool because he copies the uh, damage of your current tiers. So if we are lucky enough to get any damage ups, we'll be able to do this. Actually, I'm going to look up Turn Back Time real quick because... Or not Turn Back Time. I'm going to look up Undefined because there's got to be something more to this item. Let's see. Allows you to loop through 
and the final floor infinitely. If you can get Undefined to teleport you to an I Am Error room, there will be a beam of light that takes you back to a new chest slash dark room with the same layout and refreshed rooms. It will always teleport you to one of the following rooms at random. Item room, secret room, super secret room, I Am Error, black market. Okay, so it only teleports you to good rooms. That actually sounds useful. And we may be able to use it a lot because of nuns have it. So I'm going to hang on to this, and we're going to see if we can't end up doing some wacky stuff with it. <clears throat> I was going to say, for that much cost, like, for that much, like, for how many bars of nonsense it has, I feel like it needs a little bit more than what we've got, than what we initially expected. Oh, man. Get out of here, fly. All right, there we go. There we go. Get him attack, fly. Yeah. I really need some more DPS. All right. Blood clot is a step in the right direction. As is pentagram. As is rotten baby. Um. Why not? We got dark bum, man. We may as well roll with it. Uh, let's go explore this floor some more. As quickly as we can. I think we're still ahead of schedule, maybe? I'd like to get one more roll of the dice in here. Uh, still no money for that, but we can blow up this side to make this quick. DPS problems pretty much solved. Hey, yep, that seems totally worth it. Let's uh, blow up some of these things. Get him, Dark Bum. Got something for me? Yeah! Alright. Well, it was a very unimpressive I Am Error room. Usually, uh, there's something besides a load of keys in those, but hey, you know, like, whatever. Uh, you know, like, usually there's an item that I can get really excited about. And although there was no item, it was still exciting, you know? It's the I Am Error room. It's always nice to see. Especially now that you have these... Aw, oh, shite. Especially now that you have these items that you can kind of use to force the I Am Error room, which is cool. Uh, yes, please. I want to get in here. All right. Got a key and a penny off of that. I do enjoy these runs where we have, like, a nice, familiar train rocking. I don't... I'm, I've always been a fan... Oh, shite. I've always been a fan of the uh, familiars. Yeah, awesome. Hey, straight to... This isn't the I Am Error, but this is something. Are we gonna get something? Yeah. We'll exit out this way. We'll see uh, what we have over here. Cool. And we can use this again. There's the I Am Error room. Aquarius, which is really interesting. Is that a Joker? Oh, man. And Jera. Okay, so we can't come back to this room. Now we're stuck here. Can we joke her out? We can joke her out. Let's see where it puts us afterwards. That's going to be very interesting. And the best thing right now, the best thing ever, is not Krampus's head. That's quite possibly the worst thing ever. Um, best thing ever is we got out of the I Am Error room. <laughs> uh, the best thing ever right now would be if we got a box of friends, which would just be sweet. Like, I've been playing some Lilith, and man, that is super fun with her. Whoop, I kind of missed that spirit heart. Come on, Mom. Oh, evil one. All right, there we go. Let's get the spirit heart. Um, I've been playing a lot with Lilith. Lilith is super fun, especially when you get to boss rush or any of the other, like, permanent room modes with her because, um, you know, after every wave, box of friends will keep on regenerating, which is so sweet because you eventually just get this giant, giant familiar train, which is both hilarious and awesome. Um, and I'm a big fan of that. It is super fun. 
Like, there's just something about having, like, 20, 20 friends on the screen that's just ridiculously, ridiculously awesome. Alright, so that wasn't so bad. Synth oil is great. Uh, we do need to go look for our item room, however. And this is starting to cut it pretty close. Let's check in here real quick. Um, both of these things are very underwhelming. I hope this item room's around the corner, because I would like to try boss rush, if at all possible. Oh, crap. Really? Really? That is not that good. Getting the doctor's remote when you've got undefined. Let's try and blow this up. Nope, nothing this time. Okay. Let's do this next floor quickly. Oh, sweet. Starting right by the item room. That is super helpful. Uh, two shot is okay. Leech is okay. That's not okay. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. That sucks. That also sucks. Uh, toxic blood is not that good, but... I thought it was the other one. I thought it was the one that I liked. Don't hate me. All those other items you could have taken, Raven. But you choose the toxic blood? And it was like, well, yeah, you know, maybe with Trail of Tears, maybe combined the DPS is, is you know, not laughable. Right? Maybe that's a thing. Maybe. <laughs> no, it's still pretty bad. Oh, well. I'm trying to be quick, though. I, didn't, I, I, I had to make a snap decision. You know, I was under the heat of the moment. I had... I had things to think about. I had boss rush to worry about. Now there's an arcade here. We're not even going to be able to play that because we're super busy right now. I'm on like this timetable. Timetable of stuff. People got to die. They got to die quickly. Oh, it'd be nice to find the shop though. Any shop? Anything? Anywhere? Nope. Nope. What's this? Oh, cool. Oh no! What happens now? Infested? I can see I forever. Can see forever. Telepills. Telepills me out of here, man. Hematemesis. Ha! It telepilled me out of there! Oh my god, how lucky am I? Okay. Let's go this way. Ooh, was that a tinted rock back there? I think it was. Let's go back and check it out. Nope, it wasn't. Okay, moving along. Oh, shop time. Man, this thing recharges fast. Thank you, Dark Bomb. Oh, we just lost boss rush time. Son of a biscuit, man. Oh well. We should still be able to make the hush fight. And I'm actually not feeling too bad about the hush fight anymore, you know? I mean... If we can get there... Ow. Where is the, uh... The room, I heard it open. Ah, it's right up there. Oh, shite. I didn't realize it was going to turn around. That's not very exciting. This has got to be the boss room. Yep. All right, let's go fight Mom. Maybe we'll get a double room. Oh, man. Trail of Tears plus Anemic Blood doing the work. Kinda. Alright, uh, we're gonna take... We haven't done the chest with the cane. No, Necronomicon is not a good item. So we are not gonna take that. Okay. We're doing okay. We're doing alright. Let's see what uh, where we get sent now. Ooh, Angel Room. Sure. Oh, that wasn't even the angel room. It was like the super secret room. 
which is also okay. What makes you small is pretty fantastic. Should make the hush less painful. Since we're going in like a man with a plan. Ah, oh, balls. Why do I have a shield? What's shielding me? I don't know. Let's kill this guy. He's annoying. Ah, bollocks! Dark bomb, I'm just doing you wrong, man. Just doing you all sorts of wrong. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Can I can I get out of here? Okay, cool. Little Steven is good. I know we skipped a whole floor. I don't care. <laughs> We're, we're, we're rocking it, man. And besides, with the, the amount of luck we've had with the I Am Error rooms, like letting us teleport out afterwards, which has been hilarious, mind you. Uh, you know, we got a red heart off of that, and that's tempting. Maybe we'll come back to that once our, uh, once our teleport option has been restored. Although at this point, you know, teleporting to another room means that we would give up the option of uh, going to the blue womb. So maybe this is the one time that we can't afford to undefined our way out of it. I wonder if you can undefined your way out of the hush fight, though. That would be interesting, right? Like, that would be something worth testing, in my opinion. Although, if you don't defeat Hush, then you can't get the Hush unlock, which is what we're trying to do here in the first place. So, I guess we're on like a don't use the undefined thing. Like, just don't, don't use it, right? Which is boring and unadventurous. But I'm sure is the correct thing to do. Since the goal for this was not to beat the chest, but rather to beat Hush. Right? Okay. So, eye on the prize. Eye on the prize. Right? Just stay focused with what we were intending to do. And move forward with impunity and direction and getting lasered because that is something else that we also do. Ah, snap. Ah, alright. Alright, we're fine. We're okay. It's just the mom fight. Ah, that was a lot of damage. I don't know if we have enough HP to do hush now. Especially if we take one of these items. Guppy's paw. Totally useless right now. Ugh. Oh, why did I leave undefined in there? Wow, I just really messed this up at the end. It's alright. This would not be the first time I've gotten to hush and then messed it all up. Ooh, but Guppy's head is nice. Thanks, game. Dark bum. Pick me up some... Pick me up all these hearts, man. Give me some awesome... Alright, look here. There's one over here, too. Take that. Come get it. Come get the heart. Okay. Let's go in here. Uh, cursed Eye. No thank you. Sticky Bombs. Okay. Ugh. This is going to be a bomb-based uh, hush run. Is what this is. <laughs> That is how we're doing this. Uh, what is this? Stores energy. Mm, not that exciting. What is this? Not that exciting. All right, let's uh, donate all of our money and hope that we can get through this with only taking four hits of damage. It's not impossible. We're not guppy yet. We need one more item for that. All right, so about 30 donated to the bank, which is sweet. Let's go make this happen, man. 
Oh, I already don't like this. Oh, I already don't like it. Oh man, the stupid thing pushed it out of the way. You know, there are some portions when I get to Hush where like this portion of the fight takes like half a second and I'm like, oh yeah, it's Hush time, baby. And I get all psyched and I'm excited and things and then, you know, time goes on and I get to this part where I'm like, oh, I don't have any defensive items like at all. I have to avoid every single shot manually, which is just not that good. You know, and then you just have to question all of your decisions up until now. Like, was this the right thing? Should I really have taken 10 points of damage on that boss fight? When I do the It Lives fight, is it really realistic after all this time that I still get hit by the eyeballs? Like, seriously now. At least the nice thing is, is that I've done the Hush fight enough to kind of know what all of the, like, normal, uh, like, what everything is, you know? Like, I know the stages now, I know that I always take damage at the end, because I'm usually not fast enough to outrun what I like to call the waterfall lasers. Um, whoa, shite monkeys. Okay. So, you know, at least I get invincibility and, uh, like, Polaroid invincibility. And I can run in and do damage with Attack Fly, even though he moves really fucking quickly. And erratically, like, I can't ever tell where I'm supposed to be standing with the Superfly guy. Like... I don't know, like, he's just not very easy to predict for some reason. I think it's because he's so fast. I think that might have something to do with it. Whoa, okay. At least our range is good. Oh, hey, we got the super tiers. Whoa, okay. Let's just stand over here where we can't get hit. <laughs> All right, come on now, Hush. Don't be getting too excited. The other thing that I've noticed about him is that you gotta be careful about him, like, cornering you into walls, which really sucks. Alright, so we've only got three hits left. Which sucks. We've only got two hits left, which sucks. We're gonna get hit one more time for sure. Not on this stage. In the next one. I can feel that. Alright, our tears are still hitting him. We're not taking any damage. I think our tears are still hitting him. Ah, oh, crap. Gotta get over to the other side. Still gotta get over to the other side. Ah! Oh my god. Just stand still, stay calm. If you stand still, nothing can hurt you. Sort of, that's kind of the rule. Alright, alright, alright. Shite! Oh! I did it! <laughs> oh, thank god. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, the D12. Alright, well, that was an exciting D12. Um, oh, there's nothing out there that we can buy that's going to be useful. Alright, so now we... Oh, why did I go downstairs? Damn it. <laughs> oh, okay. We, we got Hush. That's all that matters. Everything else is secondary. So, you know, no worries. No worries. No worries at all. Let's blow up every single one of these, you know. Uh, we didn't take the Polaroid. We took the Polaroid, not the negative. And now here we are. We've gone to the wrong place. That's okay. We'll still unlock something. Thank you, Dark Bum. And we can just pretend like none of this ever really happened at all. You know? We'll just not talk about it. We'll be like, you know... 
It was a relaxing Isaac run. Raven is still a little sick. He's still getting over all of his stuff. So we won't blame him. Won't blame him for this. It's not his fault. Justice. Justice. It just straight gave us a spirit heart because, you know, game feels bad for me, I guess. Oh, man. But hey, we scraped together the hush, which was exactly what we wanted. So I feel good about that. That part is done, but don't worry. I'm going to stay here until my inevitable demise so that you guys can continue to get entertainment off of me making mistakes. And, of course, you know, the, the immense understanding that we all do make mistakes. It's not just you, Isaac Player, who is out there in the night. It's all of us, even those of us with YouTube channels, you know, who are on the internet playing games for the entertainment of thousands everywhere, getting tears down pills just because the game is angry with us. Like, it's how it is. We can understand this. And you know, the really sad thing is that if I had gone to the dark room, I would have had all those red chests to open, and it likely could have been Guppy. One of them could have been Guppy, like, no problem. Gupperino, right there towards the end. It would have been sweet. Huh. <sighs> but, you know, we take what we, we take what we are given and the hand to which we ourselves are stuck with. So, uh, mega, Mega dude, I hate this guy. Alright, he's dead, that's good. Guppy's head is helping us out tremendously. A whole bunch of super greeds. Ultra greeds? Super greeds. Ultra greeds is the one at the end of greed mode. Oh, hey guys, look at the quarter. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Nope. All this fire to shoot. We're not, we're not going to waste our time. Oh, this looks like a sacrifice room, except how it isn't. Alright, that was okay. There is zero, zero way that we can get through the Satan fight without getting hit. Like, let me make that abundantly clear. There is zero way that we can get through the Satan fight without getting hit. Now, I think having the Eternal Heart means that we're going to be able to take two hits, but I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Oh, see? We'll just die immediately because I miscounted the seconds between when he spawns and when he doesn't. All right. Well, it's all good. We got the hush. Let's just hang on to that deep inside our souls. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.